Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some of your time with me here today. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you um, a flip through, a walk through of my mega happy planner. I call her Miss Andromeda because she is an entire galaxy. She is thick and juicy. She has nine different uh, happy planners, Franken planned, combined into this one planner. So she is a whole galaxy and she helps me keep my life together and organize all of my interests and hobbies and, you know, things that I need to do to uh, live my life. So, yeah, if you're interested in checking out what I've been up to in my happy planner, I'm just gonna be flipping through it, sharing with you the spreads that I've done in the last two weeks, the spreads that I've done for the coming week, and just sharing with you my creative planning process and my happy planner solar system. So if you're interested in checking it out, just keep on watching. So Miss Andromeda is still on her gold expander discs and I'm still using this orange red floral uh, look that uh, came with a vertical style happy planner. I'm not exactly sure what this planner is called, but it was a vertical happy planner. It's a classic vertical happy planner layout and it says you are made to bloom on the cover and it's such a gorgeous cover and the color palette the color story really gives me those autumnal vibes i wish the flowers were marigolds that would make this absolutely perfection but you know it's beautiful i can't complain too much so let's get into the planner. I'm gonna share with you everything that I've been up to in this planner. I've definitely decorated a lot, switched a couple of things up. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this flip through. But the cover page is still blank. Um, I just, you know, put this cover page into my planner and I always tend to make my cover pages really, really fancy and decorative. Just haven't found the time to do that. So definitely something that I need to do soon the calendar my yearly calendar i went to the shed aquarium in chicago last week i was on vacation and i got this super cute penguin sticker and something that i've been enjoying doing is decorating my bookmarks with um, my more fancy stickers um, so the sticker is really high quality. It's one of those like water resistant stickers. Super, super cute. Love the design. And I just thought it would be fun to stick it on this bookmark. So there it is. And my year at a glance uh, planner pages have been slowly filling up as well as we move on through the year. But um, these pages are pretty blank. And as always, I have the July overview on the back of the last page of the calendar because um, that's just how the Happy Planner, you know, does its thing. It always has the July overview on the back of the calendar pages. I'm considering covering this up with some scrapbook paper um, because it is kind of random. It always kind of throws me off to have this here, especially since I don't have it the July, the month of July that this you know, monthly overview corresponds to right after. So I'm thinking of covering that up. That's something for another day though. I have a folder here with some just stationary um, daily productivity sheets. I have some Pusheen coloring pages uh, in the back there. My sticky note dashboard, that hasn't changed. Um, my cute floral uh, Mambi stick collage back here. I still really like that, so I'm keeping that there. And then I just have some um, bullet journal type spreads here. This is like the table of contents to my mega happy planner solar system. I just have um, all my planners laid out as a table of contents. And then I have a bedtime routine, um, my sleep logs. I actually haven't been filling out my sleep logs too much because I have been on vacation in Chicago for the last you know week and a half and I have been back home for a few days now, but even then, post-vacation syndrome is a thing. I feel like I have to have a couple of days to kind of readjust 
to my routine and my home life after vacation. So this has been kind of um, just kind of put aside for the last two weeks or so and I'm excited to get back into it. And I just have some stickers on some scrapbook paper, more stickers and scrapbook paper. This is something I like to do. Uh, I constantly sprinkle throughout my, um, my planner just uh, pages of stickers. So that way, you know, I always have a couple of stickers that I can pull from when I'm on the go and I don't have to carry around a sticker book with me. I just already have them in my planner. So this is the first planner section in my Mega Happy Planner. She is the Wildflower Skinny Mini Planner and I use her for affirmations. I spend a moment in the day, you know, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute or two, just looking up an affirmation and then writing it down and really trying to, you know, um, uh, resonate with that affirmation and really trying to connect with that affirmation and so these were the spreads for the last two weeks and then this is the spread for the upcoming week there this planner is really fun to work with and play with affirmations are so positive and they really give you like a, a boost in the morning like a little bit of uplift a little like you know a kick in your butt to get you moving um, i really enjoy doing these affirmations um, in this little planner so there we go um, that is my little affirmation planner more stickers on scrapbook paper more stickers on scrapbook paper and then i just have a section for my daily agenda sheets these are for when i want to use you know like a more structured timeline um, a daily sheet for my days usually my work days i also made these a very hungry caterpillar uh, daily agenda sheets on uh, inkscape um, I'm experimenting making my own daily agenda sheets because, you know, nothing, <laughs> nobody makes a daily agenda sheet as perfect for your life as you can. So I've been playing around with making these. And so this is my latest attempt at making daily agenda sheets. Then we have another folder. I just have some stickers in the back there. Um, another envelope with some stickers, a sticky note dashboard, but these are all fitness related stickers. And I have some fitness stickers on the back of this scrapbook paper here as well. And then this is my uh, fitness section for the month of September. So this is the September overview. Something that I try to do in this overview page that I've been really enjoying is uh, I have this like three part challenge that I like to do where um, there's three areas in my body I'm really trying to focus on. That's my abs, my booty, and my arms. And so I give myself a challenge to do seven workouts for each of those sections every month. And actually, I need to um, color one of those in. And I haven't been doing any workouts because I have been on vacation pretty much uh, since September the 1st till today, which is the 13th. Well, I mean, I was on vacation that long, but I was on vacation and then I was like post vacation and getting back into my routine. So I just haven't really been working out that much, but I really hope to pick it up, um, you know, in the rest of September. So, and so here we have the monthly calendar. I like using this to, uh, to mark days that I work out. And I count walking as working out for this and so that's why all the days are stamped because even if I haven't been doing like ab workouts, booty workouts, arm workouts, I am walking still. So I still count that as working out. Um, so that is my monthly calendar view. Then this was the first week in September and then this is the second week in September. I haven't really been decorating or been in my planner too much for the last two weeks because again i was in chicago so i was on vacation and then i was like you know prepping for a vacation and then post vacation so i just haven't really been you know as into my routine with my planner as i usually am so some of that might explain um so that might explain why some of these spreads aren't as filled out as i tend to have them filled out this is the upcoming week. I'm really happy with how this spread turned out. I'm excited to get back into my fitness uh, this week. And then we have the last two weeks of September. 
And then I just have more stickers here on scrapbook paper. And then this is my third planner section here. And this is my current events planner. So I try to listen to the news, uh, read articles from the New York Times or the Marshall Project, and just try to stay informed about, you know, politics, international affairs. And this is where I like to kind of journal about um, what I listen to and what I'm hearing. It helps me like stick the information in my head for a little bit longer and understand it more. So this is the September overview and I've decided that I'm going to be um, using this rather loosely. So the monthly calendar view, I was having a little bit of difficulty trying to figure out how I wanted to utilize it and I decided that I'm going to be using it rather sparingly but um, importantly like I want to use it as a section to write anything that I have to plan for um, that has to do with like politics. So this is mostly like voting deadlines. I mean, those are kind of few and far between, but when they happen, I'm going to put them in here. So we had the California gubernatorial recall election um, this month. So I voted. Um, I had to, you know, turn in my ballot by a particular time. So I put that there and any significant, you know, political events news events that happen, I'm going to kind of mark them down here so that way I can at a glance look back at September and see what happened in September. So that's what I'm going to do there. So I use a vertical, aligned vertical happy planner for this uh, section and it lends itself really well to writing. So I like to write a lot about what I listen to. So um, there we go. That was the first week in September and then this was the second week. Um, I didn't really get around to listening to the news and writing down, you know, what I listened to um, in the last couple of days because I've just been so busy getting back into my routine, um, coming back from vacation. So it was kind of a little bit blank, but this is the upcoming week. A little plain. Um, again, I don't really tend to decorate these spreads as much because I try to write more in them than decorate. Um, so yeah, so there is my current events section. And then this is my faith and spirituality section, um, and my magic section. And I actually had a lot of fun decorating this scrapbook divider. Um, I made it really witchy with all the magic vibes. I'm really happy with how that turned out. But the first thing in my spirit section is my Aztec calendar. So the Aztec calendar, if you're unfamiliar with it, is divided into 20 13-day sections and each 13-day section is symbolic and has a particular flavor and meaning to it. And so as we cycle through the 13-day sections, I kind of like to write um, what each era is signifies because I don't have them all memorized by heart, but I would like to, you know, one day eventually kind of remember what each section or what each era, each 13 day period is about. And so every time we cycle through one, I write down what that era is about. And that way I'm slowly filling up this Aztec calendar here. Currently we're in the era of wind in case you're wondering, but I definitely have a couple more left to go. And then I got this really cool sticker when I was in Chicago. I went to a witchy crystal shop and they had a bunch of cool stickers and I really loved this sticker here. It's a skeleton in a nun habit and she just was so creepy and she reminded me a lot of Santa Muerte, which is a Mexican saint, holy death. And so I thought she was really cool and so I just popped her here near my Aztec calendar. She's a little bit creepy, a little bit scary, but you know, so is death. But in Mexican culture, death, the concept of death is very much respected and admired and revered. It's something, yes, to be uh, scared of to, and to some extent, but more so something to be respected and uh, understood. So yeah, Santa Muerte here. And then we just have a scrapbook paper with some stickers on the back of it. And then we have my the month of September. I actually want to take this page out. Um, I want to return it to the, the planner it came from. Um, and then I'll leave this here because the back of it is um, the September overview, which I'm still working on. I also got this sticker at that same crystal shop that I got 
the uh, the skeleton sticker and it's such a beautiful sticker it is a horoscope sticker Thicker. This one represents Aquarius. Beautiful. I'm an Aquarius rising, so I really liked that sticker. So beautiful. And then we have my September monthly, which I had a lot of fun decorating this month. And then I really enjoyed how this spread came out. Um, so again, like I said, this is my spirituality, my faith section. This is where I do a lot of my tarot readings. Um, uh, I study the Bible. I'll write down Bible quotes in here as well. It has everything to do with my faith, my spirituality in here, and and my spirituality is very multi-faith. It's very polytheistic. Um, I resonate a lot with various different religions and spiritualities and traditions. Christianity, um, Catholicism, uh, Buddhism, Hinduism. Uh, there's something there for me in every single one and so my faith ends up being a hodgepodge of all these different religions and so um, sometimes I'll study the Bible sometimes I'll study a spell book and that's just how I am but I really liked this spread how this spread turned out it was very pink and dreamy and then this is the current week here I got a bunch of cool stickers at that same crystal uh, witchy shop in Chicago and I decorated my bookmark with them and I think they're so, so stinking cute. But I also got a bunch of frog and potion bottle stickers at that same sticker shop and I used them to decorate this week's spread. So my spreads have been pretty sparse as of late because as I said, uh, I've been in Chicago and then I came back from Chicago and just these past two weeks I've been super busy and I just haven't been spending a lot of time in my planner but I'm excited to get back into my planner and uh, get back onto my routine. So this is the week spread for the coming week. I used those same frog and potion bottle stickers as well as some recollection uh, galaxy stickers there so there's that. And for this planner, I use a dashboard, Mickey Mouse dashboard planner for my faith and spirituality. Just some more stickers here, more stickers. And then this is my academic section. And actually, um, instead of scrapbook paper this time, I used a, a cover page from the planner to be my separator for this section. So this is just the cover of this section. And then the back of it was the May overview. So that that's kind of random, just sitting here. And I'm actually gonna take out um, I'm gonna take out these pages now because I don't need them there anymore. Um, this was the spread from last week, and this is the September overview here. I'm gonna leave that there. Then we have the September monthly, which I decorated using the Disney Oasis stickers. And then we have um, the current week here. And again, I added the super cute Corgi sticker to my bookmark because I love the sticker so much and I just wanted to look at it every single day. So there we have this week's spread. And then this is the upcoming week. I had a lot of fun with this one. I used some dinosaur stickers from a sticker book I got in Little Tokyo. It's a Japanese sticker book. And I used Jungle Vibes. And I tend to leave a lot of room in this uh, planner because I write a lot in it. And so I try not to over decorate because um, I do like the real estate here. And that is, uh, that's it for this section. And then we have my community service section. So um, I actually had a lot of fun with this section uh, last week. I ended up doing the super cute, super forager, super woman um, doodle here. I tend to doodle a lot in this planner because as part of my community service, I'm an artist. And so I do a lot of, you know, doodling and I share all of my art via my social medias um, or the social medias for the organizations I'm part of. So I actually also want to, well, I'm gonna leave this one here in as well, this page, it's kind of random, but I really love my little cartoon here. And so I just kind of want to leave it in there for now. But that is uh, the August and then we have the September overview. I just use this as like a brain dump page and as an overview of all the projects that are going on. Um, this month and then this is the monthly overview 
the first week in September here. Here's another doodle that I did. And then this is the current week. I still have to do my doodle for this week. So I've got to get on that. But I added some Mickey and Minnie stickers to my bookmark here. And I really like how that turned out. And then this is the upcoming week here. Um, I love this idea that I've, you know, um, latched onto, which is making these sketchbook paper frames with washi paper, with washi tape and sketchbook paper, and then doodling right into my planner. It really helps with, um, you know, keeping up with my doodling. And then that is it for this planner here. And then we have my household section. So this is everything that has to do with my household my monthly and then this week it's completely blank because I wasn't at home this week and then same with this week I didn't get back home until Thursday and so it's just kind of plain and so that is that and I actually haven't even gotten around to decorating for next week so I gotta get on that but that is my household planner and then I ended up switching my garden section from my other planner to this planner because I just noticed that I just wanted it to be in this planner and so I switched it over and I'm experimenting with that. But this is a skinny classic happy planner and it's my garden planner. Uh, everything that I have to do to keep my garden, you know, um, growing and thriving and giving me bountiful harvests goes in here and I also like printing out photos of all my you know veg and then putting them in here as a kind of hall of fame so this is the upcoming week here and then that this is the current week and there we go that is my gardening planner and I just have an envelope here with some photos and then the last section is my budget section and I am not gonna flip through this because it has all my financial information in it but she is essential and that's all um, I hope you enjoyed this whirlwind tour of my happy planner um, it's been so long since I filmed that I feel so so rusty and out of shape so hopefully this wasn't a drag to sit through but I hope you enjoyed it um, let me know what's going on in your planner universe what planners are you enjoying what's the latest tea with you and your planners let a girl know and thank you again for stopping by and checking out this video and i'll talk to you in my next one bye